Hey everyone, what's going on? It's your boy Krebsy Crypto, and for today's video, I'm just kind of doing an update slash overview of my mining rigs, kind of for anyone that's new to the channel. I posted a video about five, six months ago, but I just kind of wanted to do another follow-up here. As you see, I moved my rigs back to my uh, one dedicated room where I had them originally. In the living room, it was just too loud. You could hear it outside in the hallway and stuff, so back here when I have it tucked away in the far corner you don't really hear it throughout the apartment nor near in the hallway or anything like that just to reduce sound and not that I got any complaints or anything but yeah so right now I'm currently maxed out on like power I cannot run any more rigs than what I have running here I have about three GPU rigs running here right now I have a fourth one down below in like the silver box there but I'm not able to run that because it just overdoes my uh, breaker so I kind of have to find a way to maybe run it out in a separate panel and stuff but that's besides the point or anything I just wanted to, again just do a follow-up so right now like I said it is just all maxed out I have the current rigs that are currently running which is I believe two AMD rigs and then one Nvidia the other silver box there is another Nvidia rig but of course like I just mentioned I can't run that right now I'm gonna figure it out maybe once I move or if I get a place or something like that it's been kind of tricky but now I'm just kind of going to do an overview of the rigs here. This is my AMD. These are our RX 580s, I believe they are. And they're 8 gigabytes. This was just a full rig that I bought all pre-set up and ready to go. I got it for a good deal. And I will go over all everything over in Hive OS as well. Just to show you guys like power consumption, the hash rate, so on and so forth. Uh, the next rig I have after this AMD one here is my NVIDIA. And this is a NVIDIA P106-100. As we see on the screen, it does have one 1660 6 gigabyte, and these are all 6 gigabyte cards. Everything runs fairly cool in here, it uses low power consumption. My hydro is cheap to begin with, so it kind of helps. If you, obviously, if you have cheaper hydro, the better the profits and stuff. And overall, my rigs don't consume much power, but being in an apartment, there's only limited power and limited way I can do things. Obviously, I'm kind of restricted in that form. But again, this is just a NVIDIA rig. I do have to, <laughs> don't mind the dust, I do have to give them a good cleaning. They kind of just been running fine for a few months here. This is another AMD rig I have. Uh, these ones I think are 470s, and then one is like a 580, and then there's a 1660 on the end there, my custom one that I made up because the fans broke and it was overheating, so I just took it all off and then just screwed a fan right to it and hooked it up and it seems to work. And then I have one more rig, as you can see to the right there. It is one that's disassembled. That is one I am trying to assemble. But the last rig that I don't have running is another NVIDIA P106-100 rig. And there's about six of the cards in there. And that one, again, uses low consumption, like three, maybe 350 watt power. Each one is around 300 to 400 watts. Mind you, I am mining vert hash a little bit lighter of an algorithm. But everything does run cool in here. I have a fan set up, a box fan up in the window. And this is how I power two of them here. This is just off of one extension bar that's like a 1500 watt, that can, is capable of 1500 watts or something. And I just figured they're better because I have multiple. This rig runs on its own. It's to a separate panel that's running to the living room. I know it's an extension cord and it's not recommended. I've had people say that in the uh, comments, but I am, again, in an apartment, so I'm kind of restricted. Everything's been running fine for like a year. So again, I'm not planning to stay here too much longer anyways. I want something bigger so I can expand my mining. Maybe I just read something separate from my living space. I don't know yet. Things have been kind of tough here in Canada. But again, that's besides the point. And then over here, this is kind of interesting. I have, of course, my ASIC miners that I've mentioned before. But down below here, these are solo miners. So these are grid seed miners. And they are kind of lottery miners, if you will. I bought like six of them, plus two USB mining sticks for Bitcoin, all for like $50, came with all the power supplies, everything. And these ones here, these uh, grid seed miners, they uh, mine script at like maybe under one mega hash each, so nothing crazy. It's meant for solo mining lottery, so you just keep them running because they use about nine watts of power each. And you just leave them running and maybe one day, uh, random, you hit a block or maybe sometime throughout the year. And then these are the two USB sticks, these mine Bitcoin solo. Obviously they don't give much hash rate, but again, they are just a lottery form, a lottery uh, miner here, if you will. So you keep these things running and, you know, one day, one random year, you know, you might never hit a block, but again, you might hit a block out of nowhere. It's very rare, 
but it's kind of just like playing the lottery as you will, just like solo mining is overall. But they are cool technology. If you want me to do a separate video on that, just let me know and I will do a whole separate video on how to get them running in 2025. Because I know maybe some of you have these old tech, like this old type of mining stuff sitting around. And you're like, how does this stuff even work nowadays? Because it's all like, you know, 2025, Windows is all different and everything and updates have came out but I can show you what mining equipment uh, sorry what mining software and all the drivers you need to get everything running properly and again this is just another rig that I'm kind of building up I may take this AMD card because it's having trouble and I had to take it off that rig that's why it's 1660 is there but I am kind of making a makeshift rig over in the corner there that's going to be my next build even though I can't really run it and it, again, it might just be enough where I can because it might only take like 100, 200 watts being only a few cards. But again, there's my box fan that's just bringing in the nice fresh air. I've never had a problem with it. Everything's been running smooth for six to 12 months here. I just, again, I kind of just been in the background continuously mining. But I will be going over to Hive OS now and I will show you all like the information, the power consumption, hash rate, and so on. So let's get over to my computer now and let's continue it. This video is brought to you by MechC. Now they did not uh, pay me to do this whole ad slot. I just figured to do it because it's all through a referral system. But MechC is a leading global cryptocurrency exchange. MechC makes it easy to start trading with no KYC required. Sign up and start trading futures, longs, meme coins, everything in between. Obviously with no KYC is a little more restriction, but you can choose the KYC or not. Like I said, just create an account, you're ready to go. Explore a wide range of trading options, including futures, longs, and short positions, and even futures trading with meme coins. They stay up to date with adding newer meme coins and even the top meme coins that you can long and short. Whether you're a beginner or an experienced trader, Mexi offers a seamless and secure platform to trade the way you want. Check out my referral link in the description to help me out and directly support me and get signed up with Mexi. All right, so now we're over on Hive OS here. And as you see, I have my Krebsy Crypto Farm here. I got my three rigs online. I have 17 GPUs in total. I would have obviously another one, but it's offline. Four workers in total, obviously missing the one. Uh, I take a total of 1,074 kilowatts, so nothing crazy. Uh, like I said, I'm trying to set up the other one because I do have a few more 100 kilowatts I could push it to. Uh, I'm getting about 6.5 mega hash a second on Vertcoin. And as you see, you see it all across the top. But we'll click into it now. We'll go on my first rig here. And then this one is the 570s, uh, the 1660 and the 470s. So that one AMD rig with that kind of custom makeshift 1660. And as we see in total, it's only taking 303 watts with the vert hash algorithm and that's pretty good obviously i have overclocks and power limits and stuff and that obviously helps reduce a lot of the power the only thing is my cpu temperature because sometimes the fan messes up on the cpu so i have to kind of fix that temperature but other than that my highest temp is 61 on my card and then my lowest is 43 so overall i have a pretty even range you know it doesn't get too warm doesn't get too cool and in total from this one i get 1.764 mega hash on vert hash Again, obviously, everything just depends on the algorithm that you are mining. And then if we go back here, we'll go to the next one. This is my P106-100 rig with that 11660 as well. This one's getting a total of 2.343 mega hash a second. This one's running at 387 watts, so a little more to it. But it does have a few more cards compared to my other rig, so it is obviously going to consume a little bit more power. But as we see here, the highest temp seems to be about 56 degrees. The lowest one's about 46. So this is a very, like I said, the airflow system I have is pretty fair. I know most people try to pull the air out and push it outside. But I noticed when I pull this air in, it does a lot better. So I don't know, maybe it's just how my apartment is or something. But either way, I'm just taking it as it is. I've tried all multiple ways and this way produces the coolest setup. And as you see, each card is not taking much for the hash rate. One's 35 watts, so I wonder if that one's working properly. But yeah, other than that, uh, this rig is pretty efficient. The CPU, 39 degrees. So as you see, like the CPU on here is different, but it is a separate motherboard. And then the cards are up top compared to the AMD rig where it's all just on a flat motherboard. And if we go to the other rig online here, these are the 580 8GB that I showed you with the cool RGB lights, I, I like to say. 
And then this one is 2.433 mega hash, consuming 383 watts, because AMD does take more power consumption compared to NVIDIA. NVIDIA is lighter on power, and I find this sometimes a little better on hash rate. I like to overclock them a little better. NVIDIA, I find, is more user-friendly. Uh, AMD, you kind of have to flash a BIOS and do a bunch of other settings. It's a little more complicated with the overclocks compared to NVIDIA if you are a new user to mining. But as we see here, the highest temp is about 50 degrees, lowest one's about 42. So again, most of my rigs is ranging from about 45 to about 60 at max. So that's always kind of been the temperature, no matter what. Obviously, summer gets a little warm, and sometimes I have to kind of readjust things. But other than that, these rigs uh, run pretty efficiently. Um, I, again, this is the fourth rig. This is the P106-100. Obviously, we can't see nothing because it's not up and running. But this one usually consumes about 350, I believe, 340, something if you want to be specific with it. And again, uh, let's see, I can show you the cost of running these three rigs is 27 cents daily. So nothing too crazy at all. I make a few bucks a day, so that balances out. And then my hydro bill, I make well more than that uh, each month. So therefore, it all balances out. I'm in profit. I'll just show you on hash cryptos here. This is my few payouts. Obviously, it's nothing crazy because these cards are lower end. I need to update the cards. I will mind you. Like I might sell some off and get some new higher end ones compared to these ones because they're years and years old. Obviously, I know that. But again, I could sit here and just buy this per day, but why not just print it, you know, just sit there and have it running. I'm in profit, so there's no reason not to. You know, obviously it's nothing crazy, but I'm not in it again for making tons of money. I'm just building up a crypto portfolio and just supporting crypto and the mining network in general because I do like the technology and am interested in in it overall because i am just a computer guy so obviously you can do this at your own will if you want to do it for fun if you just want to learn about something try something new hash cryptos is the pool and then obviously hive os is a software here but yeah again overall i'm not having like a crazy farm nothing like that I, I do plan to expand at some point again i just don't know when i am just kind of procrastinating on it but i do need to get a step on it i've tried to get places and things like that reach out to realtors banks this and that but when you do mention crypto, they do get skeptical, so I kind of have to find a way around it possibly, or I'll just have to, you know, rent a bigger place, get something more so I can have my own panels and stuff. But again, that's besides the point. You know, hopefully this video just, you know, gave you some knowledge, gave you some information, just helped you out in some way, or maybe inspired you to, like, start up a mining rig. Again, it's nothing too complicated once you get the hang of it. And with Vertcoin or Verthash, whatever you want to say, you are able to mine with very low-end graphics cards. So it does help. And most of the time, Verthash mining, you do get in profit a little easier because the power consumption is not too much. But again, that's all I got for you guys. If you did enjoy, make sure to like and subscribe button. And if you do want to see that tutorial for, for the grid seed miners and like the solo mining lottery setup, just let me know in the comments. Or if you want to see a tutorial about a specific algorithm, coin, or anything at all, just post in the comments and let me know. But again, I hope you all have an amazing day. And this is Krebsy Crypto, signing out.